Hello and welcome. Right then, we're going to get stuck in straight away. Let's get cracking. Arguments happen in civilian life. It's because people read the bad into what you said. Yeah, I um, had some colleagues at uh, when I was working for the schools uh, as an IT manager, network manager, as I was called actually on that job. And I often used to just say things um, that they weren't rude, but again, poorly chosen words. And I always used to make the two reception ladies. Uh, like laugh, they were both hilarious. Uh, they were, and uh, yeah, I used to often make them laugh. And then I'd I'd catch them laughing, and I'd like play back what I said. And I thought, yeah, I suppose you could have thought that was a sexual innuendo. Although they both knew me well enough to know that I wasn't like being their daughter or anything like that. But yeah, it was. It always did make me laugh a little bit. I, I was terrible sometimes for saying something literally, which again with the wrong person, can get into trouble. Yeah, I know, I know, we finished it. Yeah, got, got to do it properly, although that band in there should be there. Well, I think we could do another one. Uh, ooh, we might struggle with seven, but we'll have a go. We've still got to come back anyway, so. 20, yeah, this is the biggie, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You have to go through the forest. Uh, should we try to go the proper way? Because I've never been up here. Yeah, I did actually think this was a field, and it's obviously forest, really. I do like the, yeah, the bit of muck on the road. It really is phenomenal. Attention to detail. I was saying this earlier, that old saying, the devil's in the detail. Often it is. Yeah, the meticulous attention to detail sometimes is really... I mean, don't get me wrong, there's also like some things that uh, you can have too much placement. But if we're done with a creative flair, I've got to be honest, it's uh, it's often fine. Yeah, some people, like Ali, are just naturally gifted at things like that, but also meticulous too. It's a good combination. Yes, um, I'm personally looking forward to JM Gaming's next map, which is on the Giants Forums uh, and uh, yeah it's a, a French map and so yeah if you search for a Jane game in I'm quite sure on Giants Forum you'll uh, do some cracking maps uh, yeah I covered it myself uh, both um, staunch favourites of Jane Gaming's maps um, yeah I love Rob Boss Road but I still Still really liked Agris Valcones. I thought I've got to be honest. I, I always have thought with each and every map that Sir Jay Game is done, he's gone from strength to strength. Doesn't do things the way that normal map makers do things. And I don't mean these not normal. But what I mean is he approaches things in a completely different way, which I found was quite refreshing. And when Rizu Forest his first map. Well, I thought well, that's a weird, that's a strange idea. That one is really a forest, but it was. I thought, well, yeah, but it's unique. I, I, no one's ever done that before, so I had a go on it, and I've got to be honest, it was fantastic. Yeah, it was. I got lost quite a bit in there, but I, again, it was a really cracking sort of thing. And, and I, yeah, you reminded me earlier actually of the maze that I did. He says he'd never seen anyone do that before. And I thought, well, no, actually, I think I have either. It, it did take quite a bit of... Uh, I just thought I wanted to celebrate the uh, the map. It was such a fantastic, unique and original concept. And I thought, well, it actually suits it, really. Yeah. So, and I, I, yeah, that I, try, don't, I don't know whether I did it justice, but still to this day, I do quite, quite proud of that because it, it was probably one of the most... Yeah, I think it was unique, and that's rare. 
Yeah, I think that's why I wanted to do Around the World in Eight Days, because again, I've never known anyone to do that where you go from one map to another with the, the same equipment that you've built up and you're travelling around the world. I know it's uh, obviously also loosely based on Phillies Fog Around the World in Eight Days 2, which is a. Uh, oh, I think we might do this. It's going to be close though. We definitely need to go to the shop to top up after this. But yeah, it was that was the idea. But all the thing is, I'm going to say it challenged me in ways I didn't think it would. Yeah, there's uh, time becomes very important, which it uh, like no, it doesn't. It's not important. I can yeah, there's no time. I've got to be done. You know, like I've only got this much time. But it does tend to put the wind up you and really make you got to pay better attention to time it becomes an important fact so yeah it's it has but it's just it is a bit hardcore I, I have got to be honest though the other thing that was a nice uh, surprise was how yeah within seven sessions how far you can actually how many millions you, you can make if you stick to sort of tr well I mean I, I've tried to make each one not exactly the same. In fact, yeah, I even built that into the game rules that I wasn't allowed to use the same productions on the next map that I'd used on the map previously. That way you can't just rinse and repeat. I can't always have the production shared. I can't always have... Yeah, if you use all of your favourite uh, productions on one map, then you've not got them for the next map. So it really is a matter of you choosing your... Yeah, I yeah, have. Yeah, fantastic. Right. No, no, there was one that was like field 11 that was tiny. How close to that are we? Ah, now they're together. No, let's go grab some more fertiliser. And we'll go and hopefully manage those three in one, I think. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get too many more contracts today. Ooh. Actually no, our buddy's doing alright as well. We might we might stand a chance of actually buying all of our own equipment. As I keep saying you can't rely on the sales. Yeah all we really needed was a bit of a break on on our equipment that we just did 50 grand is not quite enough to do that because it's not just about the equipment you've got to be able to do something with the equipment so yeah you've got to have like an end game like I've got to need to put BGA down and also I need rooms which means I probably need a second field so yeah it's not as cut and dry as just oh yeah that's it I'm done it's, it's just not yeah I'm still not sure 100 grand is quite enough to actually uh, to make it work we might do some, yeah, we'll do a little bit of that, I think, after we've done these three contracts that are left. We'll let them do a bit of totting up. Yeah, because we are going to need another field. We'll pick that one on purpose, because it's a little bit bad. But it's also flat, so... It's top Mind you, I've said this before, the, uh, mind you, for fertilising, holes is not really, it doesn't really care. Now, I could have put a front box on, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, we could have put a front box and then it would last a lot longer. But to be honest, we've, we've got three contacts left now. They're not monstrous, so I think we'll do it, but yeah, it is true. Probably wouldn't have needed to, uh, trouble is that this is a section of map anyway, so do you know, it's not like a big map. Where I'd like to go right the way to the bottom and then it's right the way to the top. Right, so. Yeah, so I'll definitely go Ajax 20 if we're cutting that field. Makes sense. This little road. Hoping it leads where I've never been down before. 
more so. No, that's always a plus. Can we get this way though? Yes, we can. I can see. It's a bit of a track, but we can do it. We are track two. In fact, this actually leads right to where we want to go, so. Amazing. Oh, lovely bank to the right. Oh, wow. I hope that's actually fallen down. To be honest, I'm not, yeah, I'm not a messy fan of collectibles, but yeah, I have divulged, jumped in sometimes with the, uh, yeah, the Western Wilds, that was a, uh, that was a bit of a hoot, really, that was, like, that, that was quite unique, I did like that, right, okay, ooh, let's so take a left. A lot of these look out and what's around. Ooh, yeah. We've already done this one, haven't we? Yeah, I recognise the uh, the metal. So, uh, yeah, so again, that's something else. Uh, you're not paying attention properly because you're concentrating on. But it, obviously, then sometimes you break it, and it says, "Oh, I've been here before," because I recognise that the metal work. And it's true. Now, if we do this cleverly, we'll be leading up towards the next field. Yeah, there's a bit of a neck to it. A, 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 one that I've not quite got yet. <laughs> yeah, I've done it a few times by accident where I've managed to do it, but like, yeah, it's not it's not mastered by any stretch of the imagination. And some fields have actually led themselves to you um, being able to finish better than others. But there's, there's always a bit of overlap, though. Yeah, you, you can't do it perfectly. Well, you can sometimes. should be alright. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll be double, doubling back on myself, but I think it's wider than the spread, so... I could do a bit, a bit further out, actually. As I said, it's not, it isn't perfect, but that's, that's oh, 11's that one, that, yeah, the 575 one right next door. this time and uh, to be honest yeah it's, it's more now that I think that when we've done this this is going to be a fairly large session really especially with there being no time lapses so yeah I don't want to make this an epic movie length Ooh. 
no, 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 you can. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier about sometimes taking a bit of a chance. Yeah, I must admit, personally, I uh, began to more s use the uh, mini map to do s like spraying. Uh, no, not spraying. Spraying is actually quite a unique one. Use uh, look, look, just actually look at the boom on any sort of spraying contract. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed using the uh, Hardy, the big Hardy, um, the Rubicon on around the world in 80 days. That that was definitely. A highlight for me. I've only ever used it on a couple of contracts, never owned one before. That it is a thing of beauty, it really is. I mean, to be honest, I do like the Jan and all of those types, so yeah, I'm not, but that, that was particularly nice. It is such a beast in the most nicest possible way. Yeah, a good beast. So easy to like uh, suddenly start to wander. Yeah, it's just too wide. Not quite gonna do it. Yeah, no, I would have said this was a fail because you've now got a yeah, like go across like that. So that that would be a fail to my new. Uh, yeah, this uh, drawing on a field like malarkey. I say it's not, it's not perfect. Fantastic. And there we were done. Yeah, three contracts. Let's have a look. What did we finish on? Doing any more. You say that, but where is Field 16? That's a fairly decent contract. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, we are. It's, I was going to say because it is, it's the more the productions. Where are we actually heading? As in, like. Is okay. Let's take a left at the end of this road. We'll just look across that to the grass, but we'll I'll behave. Seven was the biggest, the acre under, but we weren't much more than this. because even though it's been relaxing I will still need to I always feel that you've got to sort of plot a bit of your future course so we'll do a few sums even if we don't buy the equipment we'll have a look at how much 
we need to actually, yeah, because I mean, it's not just as simple as we've got a field, if we put the BGA on it, we're going to steal yet more space off of it. So do we need to buy another small field somewhere else and stick the BGA and productions on that, or do we stick productions on that one and buy a second field? In which case, we may well still not have enough money. Yeah, it's never as simple as, yeah, one plus one equals two, ever. Which is, one thing that I do love about the game, it's very much like real life and everything's consequences. If you do this then that happens. And also there are still surprises no matter how long you've been playing this game. Yeah. And I try now to play them, like even mod clashes, if I get a ruined field because of a mod or something like that, I'll treat it as in real life farmers lose crops, so it's just, that is just the nature of the beast. I think it's realistic, because yeah, you do, farmers do lose crops. I mean, no, uh, they're about right actually, just a little bit further across. It's almost, not going to down, almost perfectly. on the dial. Well I've got to be honest, um, I, to me it does look like the Giants have actually um, ironed out the kinks of contracts just disappearing because that, that was more fertilised contracts than I've seen in a while. Well, I mean I haven't done contracts for a while but well, where is our field remind me. Let's go home. Uh, oh, we're not far away. We could sort of sneak across. I think it's a bit of a bank. Oh my life, uh, it's not a bank. It's actually more like a ravine. Uh, no, that, that's a bank. Oh, I do not have to do these. sometimes end up in disaster. I have got to admit that. But all the times you end up at your own fields like that. Well I've got to be honest it might be a horrible field but it is home and it is a, a very beautiful place so yeah I'm just trying to imagine if we put the BGA down uh, it would take a lot of this away let's have a look so let's do some sums right if we were gonna go you can do we could do the Amatana which is 20 grand and if we did grass digestates however much we get we get half a digestate we could put the production shed down which was a grand total of 25,000 off this very field and would need equipment wise let's have a look uh, I'm trying to think is it easier to know it's so 1,800 for the wind drawer HX20 is 15,000, 16,800, Baylor 14 grand, that's 30,000, Trailer 1,500, 31,5, Front Loader 5,4, 36, and Spikes about 
Oh, no, that's true. I will have it. Yeah, actually, that is true. I have actually should have the what the yeah one that I've been looking at um, with bated breath, and I keep on forgetting to touch it on. But this obviously I've only deselected a couple of mods that should be on this one, and it is under front loader tools. Is I think it's the Wii Fro, which is isn't that the same as one of my favourite weights? Or it might be something similar. I do like the sapphire as well, because yeah, that can double up. You can use that for both bales, and which is what I liked about the sapphire when I first discovered it by Rick Black Label. That I've definitely got that. It definitely said it was. Uh, it is. It's at the end. Oh wow! Well, it probably was all the time then. Yeah. This one, it's Weefo, it was close. <laughs> it, was, it was close. Yeah, by Dutch Moddy Inc., who would do quite a lot of. Yeah, I like the look of this. Yeah, it's just extra spikes. I don't know whether that's. No, it's, it literally is just, yeah, one or the other. I think we'll go for the one with five. I like the claws on it. That was what immediately I thought that's going to assist from letter attacher. So that is actually quite reasonable for that kind of uh, tool, really. Yeah, I think that one will do quite nicely. So uh, 36. I think we can do it. And that's without the BGA, which is that's going to take the most off of the uh, field. So we need a front letter attacher. Now, Bandarante is the cheapest one. Well, the AGM's not different. Do we go for the AGM? It's slightly dearer. Let's give it another shot. Um, you've not got a tractor for this. <laughs> Do you know? That had escaped my notice. Yeah, talk about you not paying attention. Oh, you know, we will do it. We need it, no matter what. Even if I have to buy another tractor, I have I have a few ideas. Um, oh, but then again, I might not have wanted that particular one if we were going to do that. Right, so we need bear loader, TPS. Oh, it's true though. Right, I'm going to go for uh, what I seem to have settled for. Chrome silver, I really like it. Right, so that we want the mower. I mean, I mean, yeah. The bottom line is, if we if we fail, then next session we're basically gonna like do some more contracts. Is the worst case scenario, but at least we've got an opportunity now to actually make do this ourselves. We're gonna keep nothing. It's just fifteen thousand. Need to really cut some corners. So we need a windrower. My absolutely go to in a pinch. The Russell Mesh by Russ Agrote. Thanks, Russ. This is saved my bacon so many times. And the tether two is equally as stupendously fantastic. Right, so I think I think that's everything. Just pop to the shop and just see if there's anything actually. Uh... Right, so we have a bow to mow, a baler, uh, yeah, to put the bales on, a windrower to make windrows, and we are missing a key component, which I think would be the baler itself. I think square bales would be the one to go for. Uh, there's two. Fantastic balers, both round and square, but I've got to be honest, I'm, I'm going to go easy on myself. I'm going to go, yeah, square, I think. I'm going to go for the, I think it is the arm team that have done this one. Yeah, it is. I'll do some crap. And I like the, prefer the one in yellow. He did, it took me absolutely about a year to work out what was different. I was like thinking, they're both John Deere's, they're both 12 grand. Yeah, one has got a yellow pickup. 
and I prefer that one actually. Right, so then, yes, now a baler. It's a good baler as well. Yeah, so windrow, then we go into the baler, grab the bales, stick them on there. We just need all wait. Yeah, we do need a wait for whatever tractor is. I think we can do it. I still think even with by the little Zeta, we can actually do it. Um, right. Uh, I've just deflated myself now. What was I, what was I going for? Well, we need a tractor. Let, let's let's go down the route that we actually remembered first. Uh, oh wait, that was it. It was. Yeah, let's let's get the weight then. Let's not wait. Let's just get the weight. Right, Keeler modding. Yeah, I was t thinking about this earlier. Um, I was talking about disloyalty. Um, whereas obviously I tend to go for things. I. Uh, Used, oh, I had its name earlier and now I've forgotten it again. Oh. Right. No, we can actually, yeah, we can do this. Are we going to go red as well? Because this is not for us, the biggie. Can we have a fruit loader? I don't think we can. I know you can on a few large. No, no, you can't. I didn't think you could. So we've got 74,551. We need 30,000. Which means we've got 44,000 to play with. Now, bearing in mind, sometimes when you place productions down, they are not exact. So, yeah, really, as little as possible. So. Again, this is a tractor that has saved my bait. That's true. Front loaders, is how much is the oh, little Schaefer? Yeah, it's still. I think it is skid steers. Yeah, there is also the uh, beautiful little skid steer that Black Sheep Mod into. 25,000. thing is, yeah, I mean, it's fairly heavy. You can get a, a tractor that's also going to serve you as a tractor throughout the Let's Play for 10,000. And we can have it in that, um, if I can find small tractors, that is, yeah. You have always got to think like that as well. It is it's such Again, this is another tractor that has saved my bag. I mean, there's also the Mahindras, the little Mahindras. They are not much different. Oh, wow, I didn't realise they did. I, I, I know that hasn't. Now, oh, there it is. It is there. Just go down here and we'll just see if there's anything else that... Oh, I, I'm trying to think with a front loader. I don't think there are many options at that kind of price point. We need... I mean, yeah, the Agrisos, um, if you've got a little bit more. This has got a front loader. The Deutz. There's not much in it though. I think if you go on weight. Yeah, there's a point one of a ton. A hundred weight difference between the two things. And this also has got a although we bought a normal front loader. Yeah. We have. No, looking at everything, I still think that there's still nothing out there that can touch that little beautiful Zeta. Yeah, I mean, there's some really good uh, price machines. Oh, that's a point. Yeah, I've not, I've not actually seen these. I put the pack in, but. Yep, yeah, I still think I'm right. Once again, the Zeta steals the show. Yeah, and I don't just go this, I don't stick to this. Uh, yeah, because we can afford a little bit more. But we, I think what we will do, though, is we are going to go for the big gig. It makes it slightly faster. I know it's an extra 5,000. 
do we need? To, we don't really need a front three point on it. But, yeah, the exhaust. I do like that one, even though you're paying a little bit. Oh, no, you're not paying more for it. I do like that. Oh, it's just, yeah. We'll leave off. Attaches. Yeah, just one at the back. Um, front loader attacher. Yes. I don't think I've ever had this any different colour. Do you know something? I think we're going to change it up a little. Now that, no, I'm not. I don't like that at all. I think we want the other. Let's try silver. I think that might suit it. And it's wheel. What is going to suit those? Pure white. So we want it. Oh no, we want to go back. Uh, yeah. That's really bright. I like it, but not everyone will, I know. But... Which still leaves us 58,711, and we only need 30 odd grand. So let's just at least put it together for next session. I don't think I've ever tried this way with this. Yeah, so what is it? I think Zilonka. This is the, the track that we started us off on Zilonka. I don't think I discovered this way to that time. Yeah, so I've got the best of turning circles and things like that. But it is what it is. Again, can you expect miracles with a 10,000 uh, 10, euro tractor? I would not have thought so. But I, I don't mean that to cheapen it either. It is good. I'm just saying it's uh, especially. Do we? No. Uh, no. Is it that one? It is. Right. Smashing. So that's to assist grip. And not, obviously, the one thing I'm going to say is the weight of this is going to defeat it if I'm going to try and like lift well too many bales. That's. I'll just see. I can't remember. It doesn't always reach the lower hitch on some tractors. Some it works and some it doesn't. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. That's, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And that's why we're going to leave it. Yeah, it doesn't work with all tractors. It's, it locks them up. Sometimes it throws you in the air. That's perfect. Because right, for a small tractor, I wouldn't have expected that to work. So that is amazing. So we now need to grab the other tractor and grab these three bits of bobs. Uh, we could actually do something about that. But yeah, with next session. Yeah, I'm going to say we have got a full loader. Well, for the live things, that is. We would need a big bag handler, though. Which is not a bad idea. Yeah, for, for the yeah for lifting things on, or do we? I think we're going to treat the shop to a telehandler like we normally do because this has nothing to do with us really. Forty thousand two hundred and fifty, and we will buy my go-to Schaefer. 
the biggie. Keep it without the weight. I very rarely need need one on there. So we'll stick this back. We'll do it next session. Yeah, we'll uh, stick as much of it on there as possible. Can we fold those away? No, they're literally fit, so you'd have to do it like that. Yeah, that would be the way we we'll travel. I didn't see it. The one might need it on it though. Smash it, that's where we're going to leave it. So, 58,711 for our production. So, we can go. Yeah, to save us ruining that field completely, we could stick the production share. Let's just have a look. And the Omatana. And I think there's enough room on the left, right hand side of here for us to stick both of those things I do I think there's enough room there for maybe yeah there's enough room there actually yeah as well but it's yeah you can't have it always is there anywhere no it's a, the field really is the field yeah I don't, that's why I didn't really want to put the BGL it's not it isn't a small field I mean it's not massive but it's uh yeah, there's no some some fields actually have like a corner that's wasted, but this has actually got quite nice corners. Yeah, quite rounded. So, yeah, I think let's do this one last job. Let's prep. Let's see, can we do it? Yeah, I think it's going to be too tight. I think also we're probably better, even though I know it's costing us valuable cash, to actually level from that point there. Oh, we need something to that. The only thing in it, you'll keep your eyes everywhere. Right. Well, at least the prep's done. If this doesn't work, in fact, let's be sensible and let's save the game. And then let's have a go. I do think I'm right, though. It's weird that your brain gets used to it. Um, but I don't think you'll get them both in. The overhang of that, the production channel will go under it. I still don't think there's quite enough for the Amatana. I don't like tucking it in a corner, but you can make it work. Um, our back is against the wall a little. So we have to like... Oh, we might. We might be able to do this. I'm not going to say that's actually not as bad as I thought. And we, yeah, it's not V-mode either. Uh, so if we go right up to the back right up to, yeah, we don't need much at the back. Yeah, I expected a bit of concrete and stuff like that to, yeah, and I've done that on purpose that way around. Ooh. Yeah, I'll worry about that in a minute. Let's put production shed. No, we can do it. Let's just clean the mess on the road. Yeah. The smoothing tool is a wonderful thing. Yeah, it doesn't always fix it completely. Yeah. So, uh, in situations like this, <laughs> you then have to disguise. Yeah. <laughs> it works a treat. Oh dear. Uh, is that. It's not letting me do it, actually. Okay, 
okay, that's, that's totally ruined and undone what we've just done, but that's often the case. Let's try and do it. Oh, that's a, yeah, I think that's the wrong colour anyway. It's not too bad, we know it's there, but hey ho. Right, so production shed, let's finish this off. Wow, I didn't think we'd do that. I'm trying to think with the product. No, again, you can actually come straight to the beach. And I do, yeah, I don't like them facing each other. That can cause issues. But right next to each other, yeah. Tap. We're going to need a tap too. I thought we might need to do this with V-Mode. And I knew it would go underneath that overhang really nicely. Shouldn't really cause any issues. The last thing we need is a tap. Ooh. But you are going to need a... Yeah, one thing that... Again, there's always something in your, in your like... Um, stick it smack bang in the middle yeah one thing I have forgotten which we have got a good job we did it as tight as we did was we uh, need some form of hauling water shock horror I'm going to go for my go to in these situations the TARDIS and I think to be honest that's everything our business needs so we haven't really shrunk the field a lot. With having that already, we've only just carried on in the same sort of thing. I will, I'm gonna do a bit of painting when we can afford it, but obviously, yeah. So we're left with, oh, I've still, did that do that again? Because I could have sworn I fixed that. It's now gone bad again. looks a lot different. Ooh, we've done that thing we go under the road. Ah. I hate working in roads. Uh. You have to sort of sneak this by being half under the road. And then you have to smooth like quickly. Soften, sorry, I always say smooth. not a bad recovery. <laughs> not a bad recovery at all. Right, smashing. So yeah, a bit of painting for the future. But we have our business. We do. So 27,196. We did it. Two tractors as well. Yeah, with very little help from the sales, which is quite unique. So uh, yeah. And we've even got a bit of lime with fertilizer to assist with our all. Oh, one thing you have forgotten. Uh, although it's not going to affect the cutting of this field, um, we are going to need to scan the field. So I'm going to be really thorough, which will shock everybody that I've actually also remembered. We're going to lease it to begin with because I know we could just afford it, but you never know what's around the corner. Which is exactly what I said when I caught COVID the other day. <laughs> right, at least. Brilliant, and that is where we're going to leave it. Yeah, absolutely. Next session, we will get a bit of work done. We will cut this field. I'm going to do it myself. I think we'll, yeah, I no, because if I'm going to do the baling, I'm going to pay a worker to actually cut and windrow, and then we're going to pick the bales up. So I, mean, I suppose, though, yeah, I could cut. Uh, if you cut, it's really the windrow that's important. Yeah, it is. So I could cut the field myself and then get... Uh, and also, the other thing is, that's what I was saying. The Zeta is 81 horsepower, or 79 horsepower, one or the other, I think it's 81. 
which means it can also it could do the bow in and when we could sort of follow straight on and do the wind drawing so two tractors can make a big difference but yeah all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this journey and i'm going to say goodbye for now